And we are back. Pokemon Fire Red Hardcore Nuzlocke. The run continues. We are only using Poison type Pokemon. And we have completed both the first and the second gym. And now we are on the SSN taking on our rival for, I do believe, the third time here. No casualties. We open up with Misa the Beach Girl getting that twin needle down but it is not very effective i completely blundered here thinking that it was going to be poison and twin needle is actually stab bug and i just completely forgot about that in this moment so now we are in a terrible position as most of half of my team is weak to either fire or flying so we go into amane the golbat here for a stab wing attack we're going to have to tank some sand attacks right here right now so we're going to pivot to ryuk the Nidorino just to get rid of that accuracy debuff. We we just tank a neutral gust, which isn't bad, but then we tank that on top, and now we are hurting a little bit, looking at about a third HP, and Kadabra comes down, and it is paramount to one-shot this Kadabra as it is super effective to the entire team since it's a poison-only Nuzlocke, and this confusion almost kills Ryuk with a confusion on top, so now we are really hurting, and as you can see, not all Pokemon are level 24 since I didn't prepare properly here i didn't realize that uh, this fight was going to be so difficult but when you really think about it when you only have one type of pokemon it makes it incredibly difficult to swap in and out especially when you have a cadaver raining down confusion so thankfully golbat's special defense is really nice there we tank that no problem and now golbat's still looking into it a really good position here as the hyperfang connects shipping amani down to 29 hp we get a fadeaway critical onto the rat and now only one pokemon remains the charmeleon and i'm just a little bit nervous i don't want to lose potentially my crobat so i'm really thinking about this do we stay in i'm pretty sure charmeleon can kill us from that range whether it's using an ember or something else we are definitely dead to critical um but really maybe i should just roll it i'm just so nervous of losing anyone um but sometimes you lose everyone because of that and instead i'm going to pivot into our starter to tank the super effective ember and it's only 20 damage we do have the level advantage let's just get the sleep powder and the critical hit ember comes down and we lose our first Pokemon, and at that, it is the starter. Light Yagami fades, the Ivysaur is gone, and then Soichiro comes down. The discount Ivysaur gets the Sleep Powder, and now Charmeleon is asleep, and now we are much safer to swap back into the Golbat and take on this Fire Lizard. Really brutal stuff. That is the first casualty of the run, and potentially one of the best Pokemon on the team, as Venusaur is definitely an Elite Four bound Pokemon, um, specifically in this Poison Only type run as well. So just an absolutely monumental loss. On top of that, Ivysaur is fantastic going into L Lieutenant Surge in that third gym battle, so I'm not sure what to do from here. That is a pivotal loss, but let's see if we can recover. Wow. All right, let's just dive right in and see if we can beat Lieutenant Surge without losing anybody else. Again, Ivysaur is probably the best counter to him in this Nuzlocke, given the grass and poison type. But let's see if Ryu can start us off here with a super effective stab dig onto the Voltorb. We are faster with the level advantage, dodging that no problem. And it almost one-shots Voltorb. We got to keep in mind, dig is only 60 power in this generation, so it's not hitting nearly as hard as it would in later games. The double kick comes down, bringing Voltorb to half, getting us ready to finish him off with the dig as we dodge a shockwave from underground and finish off the first Pokemon. So, so good. So far, so good there, and the Pikachu comes down, only level 18, very lackluster, and Ryuk is about to flex on the cute little Pikachu. So Dig comes down, super effective stab, and it is gone, and now the real, oh, there is a static as well, we're going to have to pop it with the Cherry Berry. That's going to be a little bit of a setback as well as we face off against the Ace here, the Raichu, the big old chubby Pikachu. And Dig is still going to do quite a bit of damage, but we want to set up for the Long Con, so I... Thinking about switching into Suichiro, we're going to go ahead with the Gloom here. The double team comes down, and that might be the beginning of the end. As we're thinking about what should we do here, let's get a Stun Spore so all of our teammates are faster. And so we can just lock it down permanently as we miss two Stun Spores. Come on, baby girl. Third time charm. Here we go. Another double team comes down, and another Stun Spore misses. This could be everything as we get paralyzed. And now things are looking so grim. 
the fourth double team comes down and Raichu may just dodge every single move we have, but Stun Sport does break through the evasion and we do paralyze the Raichu as Lieutenant Surge uses a full heal and Raichu is free to feed as the Shockwave comes down and Soichiro has a ticking time bomb right now, but we get another Stun Sport through the five evasion, incredible stuff, and Raichu is paralyzed. So now if we can just start chipping away, this is where Elite Seed would be so beautiful as <laughs> as the Raichu maxes out evasion. And it was just sitting on four. Now it is uh, times six. And the chance of hitting it is so unlikely. And um, so Sarichiro, we're going to try to keep the gloom alive here. Uh, we only have limited encounters in this run so we're going to try to keep everybody alive and misa just tanks that up front and the thunder wave comes down and now we are slower but thankfully the raichu is paralyzed another shock wave comes down twin needle misses through the six times evasion and this is not looking good as rem tanks a shock wave the Arbot comes down, misses a bite, and we are looking so bad. The Shed Skin helping out with the paralysis, but the static comes down, and we are paralyzed again. The Shockwave connects. We're only at 20 HP, and now the Snake is hurting, and we're down to two Pokemon that are not bleeding out. But Amane uh, cannot tank this as the Electric type is super effective for the Flying. And the Shockwave comes down, brings us to 34 on the swap. We're going to go into Ryuk, who eats the Shockwave, 19 HP. There's nothing left. We go all in for a stab dig critical for the one shot from the range. Raichu is paralyzed in the dig misses, and Ryuk is no longer a Nitto King bound Pokemon. It is a dead Pokemon. We're all dying here. Bite misses. Shockwave comes down, and Amane cannot reach the Crobat status. It is gone. And so each row is paralyzed and hoping for more, hoping for a better life, but it cannot as the Shockwave brings it to 5 HP, but the quick attack finishes off. The quick attack finishes it off, and Raichu lays claim as Misa breaks through with a twin needle and almost kills, but the quick attack finishes off, and now it's just the snake. Mindless, violence, but the shed skin, and the six-time evasion is not enough as Rem is the only survivor to the third gym battle, and I do believe that is it, but let's see how far we can go with just the Arbok. My god. All right, so the death box is not looking great. We've lost Ivysaur, Gloom, uh, the potential Crobat with Golbat, and the Nid Arena. So that really just leaves us with Ghastly that we can get in the tower at, um, is it Lavender Town? Right outside of the cave there, outside of Rock Tunnel. So we're going to have to make it through Rock Tunnel with just the Arbok. And if we can, that means we can potentially get the Ghastly into um, Haunter and then maybe get some more poison type encounters from there but if we can't make it through the cave with just the snake we will have lost this first attempt so let's see what happens all right we were almost at the very end of rock tunnel the godlike snake just popping off we run out of bite pp and there is no way for me to restock it. i don't have any berries i would have had to go all the way through back through the cave as we get stuck against this geodude and we're just going for neutral or i'm sorry not very effective rock slides and it does look like it is the end as rem holds on with two hp fades away with a poison stain that is not very effective but we get the kill but there's still two pokemon and it's just not happening and we go for the flinch lap but we can't get it and the snake falls and all we have left are dead HM slaves. Just brutal, absolutely brutal. We have lost our first attempt of this poison-only Nuzlocke. So let's go ahead and trace our wounds, get a better game plan for the next run, and uh, let's just go ahead and pop off in the next episode. So as always, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you on the flip. Peace.